Hi right, guys, I don't know if you remember this video. But at the end I did say to be continued and here is our part two. Not the part two that I wanted um, because I had to order some parts in and they're not in. So it's a different part two, but it's a part two nonetheless. So at least I'm sticking to my word. Yes, I've seen this video. Morning TikTokers. I thought I'd just do a quick video. Now, if you've got to knock a wheel bearing off your car or a disc or something, the best thing to do is get the smallest hammer you can find, undo these bolts up here so it all flops about at a weird angle, and then just fanny tap it for absolutely hours and make yourself look like a complete hack. That will work 100%. As much as I would like to say him and his mates are bullies, on this occasion, he is actually correct. It was a bit of a hack job. So you can see at this point here, I've tapped the drive shaft through what I actually thought was tapping that drive shaft show. If you listen. I was like, mate. It's all right, Dad. Yeah. It's all right. I can't complain. Sorry about that, mate. It's, yeah. uh, I'm going to Scotland tomorrow. Oh, yeah. You can hear the customer comes out and starts talking to me, and I... Distract me. Not the customer's fault. Totally my fault. And I didn't realise that the drive shaft was actually seized in the hub, not the bearing. So we, we've um, stripped it off, applied a bit of heat, bit of press it's taken more than 12 tons and it's not coming out it is a bit of a hard drive as you see here this bolt is removed so when i hit it here it's causing it to pivot down and the fault blow isn't going there and it's putting more strain on the ball joint what was going to be in the original part two that was going forward you'll be able to see that that ball joint is actually really knackered um it's all cracked and damaged and in order for me to take the hub off to be able to press the, the drive shaft out I've had to split it and probably damaged it anyway, so the customer was aware of that. So yeah, he didn't have a whole of information, but what I did was wrong, wasn't the best practice. On this occasion, he was right, and he's just held me to the standard that I need to be at. And that's right, I put my hands up, take accountability, and that is just an area for me to go and learn from.